What's the most mystical experience that you have ever had? I will say that um, I couldn't do my work without feeling a deep, a deep and profound connection to the divine. And I trust that connection more than I trust that I have shoes on. And um, I, I am very much aware that I have crossed into the world where the choices I make in my life now are to protect and serve that connection more than my physical world, more than my physical world. So my, my inner world has a priority and I know, and it is an anguish because I know how often I simply break the laws how often I drop the ball and how often I just blow it because of a temper or because I have a judgment and I know the consequences of that. And I try very hard all the time to repair that because I know, I know it matters. Mm. I know we're being observed. Heaven does not interfere with our choices, but it does guide us. And it does matter if you are kind to someone or if you're not. Mm. And what I would say as, as a closing comment, really, is that a person regardless of what they believe and how they see, if they could only keep this inner metronome, either I grace this situation or I withhold grace. Why would you withhold grace mm -hmm. from somebody or something? Why would you not bring grace upon a moment? Why would you not do that? And when I ask people that, why would you not grace the situation? Why would you not contribute kindness? Why would you not contribute? And if you can't contribute, why would you not just be quiet and, and at least say the prayer, let me do no harm. If I can't at least empower somebody, let me not hurt them with a word or a negative attitude. At least, and the difference that makes in the world is so incredible. Mm.